Justin with Duraclutch and today we're going to do the install on the upgrade kit um, on our newer versions of the Razor 1000 XP. Um, so to start this unit we have pulled the duct hose off of here and taken the shock off just to make it easier to see. And the first step after that is going to be to fully remove this clutch cover. I've taken a couple of the bolts out just to make it easier. I'm going to pull those last couple. This pops right off. And for this upgrade kit, we're going to be removing both clutches and the belt. We'll start with the primary clutch. It's going to be removing that bolt, and then this is the uh, Dura clutch part number 25 127. And then you can go ahead and take this one off. Secondary clutch is just that one bolt. Usually these will slide right off, but if they're stuck on there, like this one you can see is pretty stuck on, the trick we're gonna use is to thread this bolt back in there like that. And you're gonna pull on the back side of the secondary while you're giving this just a little tap. And it'll pop right off. And then you can thread this out. And pull that secondary and the belt off together. So now that we have the clutches on the bench, um, we'll start with the primary clutch. We're going to put in, it comes with new weights and pins, and then it comes with a new primary spring. So we're gonna basically disassemble this and reinstall the new parts. So this spring is not gonna get reused, that'll get set to the side. And then we're gonna pull out these weights. And none of this is gonna get reused, so this can all get set to the side. And we're gonna go ahead and put in these new weights. And the pins are gonna slide in just the same way you took the old ones out. And then these can get re-tightened back up. The new spring that comes with the kit, we're going to put that in. Okay, and then the primary clutch, when you get the kit, it comes with a new decal you'll replace because now this is a new part number. Um, but as far as the install of the parts, this primary clutch is done. It's also going to come with a new belt that's right here. So the old one can get set to the side as well. And then we're going to move on to the secondary clutch. And this part of the install is just a cam. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. The old one's not reused, so it can just get set to the side as well. This new cam that you get is going to have an X on it. It's going to match up with an X here on the secondary clutch. It might be kind of hard to see, but that should fall right in. And then there's a packet of blue Loctite that comes with the kit. That's going to go on these bolts. I'm not going to do it just to save you some time, but you'll just put a drop on each of these. So now the secondary is done as well and we're ready to bolt both clutches back on the machine. So the next step is going to be, when we have these both completed, the secondary is going to be the first thing that I'm going to put back on. This is a spline shaft and I have it in neutral but you may have to put it in gear to get those splines to line up right. Same bolt washer is going to go back in and we put a new uh, drop of blue Loctite on there to hold that in. Then we're going to take the new belt and put it so you can read the part number, it's 35024. Slide that over the secondary. Now we're going to take the secondary belt tool and open that up to get that belt to fall down in there. And the primary clutch will fit in and slide right on. And the torque spec on this one is going to be 60 foot pounds and then from there they're both installed. Clutch cover will go back on. Okay and from there you'll finish. I think there's eight or nine bolts. You'll put all the rest of the cover bolts in. Then we'll go ahead. This will end up going back on here. The shock can go back in place and then after all that's bolted on you're ready to go. Um, and then for specific fitment on these Razor 1000s, uh, you can go on our website. 
It's got part numbers, descriptions, all that kind of stuff, depending on how old your kid is, you know, and what your application is for. Um, so questions or anything like that can be answered either on the website or by giving us a call.